Hey, it's Rina. In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite tips, tricks, and free apps for customizing your iPad. If you're new to my channel, I make videos on iPad planning, tips, and tutorials, so subscribe and hit the notification bell for more of this content. Before we get started, make sure you're updated to the latest iOS. So with this tip, I'm going to show you how to customize your iPad home screen with the best free widget apps. One of my favorite apps is Photo Widget, and you can browse their selection of widgets or create your own. On the widgets tab along the top, you can choose the type of widget and then tap on the plus icon. You can add your own image or photo from the camera roll and customize colors and fonts. You can create picture widgets using your photos or images saved from the web, calendar and time widgets in different styles, to-do lists that you can check off once you've completed them, quote widgets either as an image or you can even type your own text and add in a custom background. And here is an apps widget that you can customize, say if I wanted all of my social media apps in one place. Once you've saved the widgets in the app, you can add them to your home screen. To add a widget to your home screen, just long press on the screen and then tap on the plus icon and then scroll down to find your app and then choose your widget size and then tap off anywhere on the screen and then long press on the widget and then tap on edit widget and then choose your widget type and select your album. I also use a couple of other free widget apps. One of my favorite widgets in Widget Smith app is this Reminders widget. This is connected to your Reminders app. And once you've set up your categories of reminders, you can choose which of these to display on the widget. Widget Smith also has this calendar widget that looks like it can display the events from your calendar app, but I haven't personally managed to get this to work and I'm not sure why. I also like Zen Flip Clock app, which you can display in full screen or as a widget. You can create scrollable stacks of your widgets. Just long press on a widget and drop it over the top of another one of the same size and it will turn into a stack. And you can add multiple widgets into one stack. This next tip allows you to create an aesthetic widget for your home screen using Pinterest app. So in the Pinterest app, you can search for any images that you like, and then you can just browse and add images to your Pinterest board. Then you can add the Pinterest widget to your home screen like I showed earlier, and then long press on the widget, tap on edit, and then you can choose the Pinterest board and how often you want the image to update. This next tip is really useful for iPad customization. So if you have some widgets on your home screen like this, and you found that when you rotate it into portrait mode that the widgets do not look good, you can just move the widgets into where you want it to go. And when you rotate your iPad, it will naturally remember your positioning. Next, I'm going to show you how you can install custom fonts on your iPad. So first, you need to install this free app called iFont, and then under Font Finder, tap on Da Font. And this is one of my favorite resources for free fonts. You can browse or search by category. You can just tap on Download, tap on Import, and tap on Install, and then go to your settings and go to Profile Downloaded, and it should pop up prompting you to install the app. So then just tap on Install, and install again. And now you'll be able to use that font in apps like GoodNotes, so just go to your fonts list and browse to it. Next, I'm going to show you how to make your app icons larger. So first go into settings and then go down to home screen and dock. And then next to use large app icons, just turn this on. This next tip is about custom app icons. You can use a free app to set up custom icons or you can create a shortcut to a particular file. Here I'm using Photo Widget and you can choose one of their themes and specify which app icons you want to install. And then you can complete the installation in your settings. You can also create custom icons using images and I'm going to show you how. And now in Photo Widget app, I'm in the item tab and you can tap on icons and tap on the plus button and then tap on the plus icon for each app you want to set up and then tap on choose from my album and then just choose the one that you want. And once you're done, just tap on install icons and then go to settings, go to profile downloaded and then install the icons. With the shortcuts method, you can use this to open up a particular file, like here I have a shortcut to my digital planner and GoodNotes app. You probably already have the shortcuts app on your iPad. Then you're going to tap on the plus icon and search for your app. And you can choose the app itself or a file within the app. So I'm just going to choose this one. And you can tap on this play button just to check that it's working correctly. And then go back into your shortcuts and then tap on this icon here. And then tap on add to home screen. And here you can give it a new name and you can tap on this icon here and choose a photo. So you can choose any photo from your camera roll and then tap on use and add. And now a custom icon has been added to your home screen. Next, I'm going to show you how to customize your iPad home screen using focus mode. So you can swipe from the top and then tap on focus 
and then tap on new focus and here I'm going to set up a custom focus and I'm going to call this productivity and then you can pick a color and an icon and then tap on next and you can specify who is allowed to contact you and who is allowed to call you so let's say I allow none and which apps are allowed to give you notifications so here you can tap on the add button so you can tap all of the ones that you allow and then tap on done and then it says your focus is ready so tap on done and as an optional step you can also set up custom home screens so you only see certain apps when you're in that focus so to do that just go to your home screen and then i'm just going to create a new page so drag the apps you want from your app library into a new home screen page and add all the apps that you want to see when you're in that focus so here's all the apps that I want to see when I'm in productivity focus. So then you can go back into your settings and then tap on home screen and then tap on custom pages and then just choose that page. If you want to hide this productivity home screen from your regular home screen, you can long press on the dots at the bottom and then just deselect it. And now when you want to enter into productivity focus, you can just swipe from the top, tap on focus and then choose that focus. With this next tip, I'm going to show you how to create those gradient wallpapers you might have seen. And you can do that right here on the iPad. So if you already have Procreate app, I suggest using that. But here I'm going to use Ibis Paint to show you a free alternative drawing app. Go to my gallery and then tap on the plus icon to create a new canvas and then just choose one of these options. Then tap on the color icon and choose your first color. And make sure you're on the brush icon and you can draw your first shape. And you can fill this in by tapping on the paint bucket and then just fill in that shape. Next, I'm going to go back to the brush and choose my second color. And I'm just going to draw another shape outside of that one and then fill this in. And then just repeat this until you have all of your colors. And finally, I'm going to fill this with a light pink. So once you've done that, tap on filter and then go to Gaussian blur at the bottom. Here it is and just keep on doing this a couple of times. So tap on it again, and each time it will make it more blurry. Once you're finished, you can just save this as a PNG and this will get saved into your photos. Then go into settings, go to wallpaper, and you can set this as a new wallpaper. You can change the color of this wallpaper by tapping on filter and then go to hue, saturation, lightness, and then change the hue. You can use this method to create all different types of gradient wallpapers. If you're just wanting a solid color wallpaper, an easy way to make this is using Widget Smith app. In the Tools tab under Wallpaper Generators, select Plain Wallpaper, and if you scroll to the end, you can make a custom wallpaper of any color using the palette. Once it's saved, you can go to Settings, Wallpaper, and set the new wallpaper from your photos. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful, and subscribe for more of my videos. In the meantime, check out my other videos below. Thanks for watching!